guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to me literally. Do you hear my voice? We are getting insanely freaking close to the Tortured Poets Department, which is Taylor Swift's 11th studio album. Like, excuse me. We are, as I post this, three weeks away. 21 days. That sounds a little more insane. Um, how did we get here so fast? It literally sounded like when she announced it that it was going to be forever. However, we are here. It is almost time. So, in today's video, I decided I wanted to sit down and tell you guys, kind of predict, I'm trying to do a lot of predictions this time around, and I thought it might be fun to try and see if I can guess if the song is going to be a fountain pen, a quill pen, or a glitter pen song. Now you're probably thinking, what in the hell is this girl talking about? When Taylor Swift got her songwriter award in Nashville, in 2022, Taylor said, she was like, when I write songs, I either put them in the category of fountain pen, quill pen, or glitter pen. So what that means is, um, I have written the definitions down. So a fountain pen is a modern personal story written like poetry about the moments you remember all too well, where you can see everything, hear everything in screaming detail. Examples that Taylor has given, treacherous, Long story short, and I almost do. Quill pen songs can be defined as songs with lyrics that make you feel old fashioned, a 19th century poet, um, crafting your next sonnet by candlelight. Examples would include Evermore, Tolerate It, and The Last Great American Dynasty. And then glitter gel pen songs, songs with lyrics that make you want to dance and sing and toss glitter around the room. They remind you not to take yourself too seriously and something we all need to hear these days. So examples of that could be Hey Steven, Shake It Off, and 22. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of what in the heck I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to go through the entire track list. I have, I have sectioned them off. I'm going to tell you what songs I think are going to be fountain pen songs what songs I think are going to be quill pen songs, and what songs I think are going to be glitter gel pen songs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. Oh freaking K. So starting off in the fountain pen category, again, this is a modern personal story written like poetry about moments you can feel and hear all too well and you can see it in screaming detail. Okay, I put for the tortured poets department, I think the title track, The Tortured Poets Department, is going to be one of these songs. I think it's going to be very, like, straightforward. It's going to be, obviously, she named the album after this song, or she named, you know, maybe not after the song, but it tied the album together. Maybe she was like, oh my god, I, uh, I literally, I wrote this and this is the title. Like, this is so impactful. I feel like this song is so impactful to the point where she was like, okay, I have to name it this. Like, nothing else summarizes this album quite like this song, obviously. So, she obviously named it Tortured Poets Department for a reason. So, I'm thinking that this is just so, like, precise, straightforward. This is how I feel, and this is the story I'm going to be telling on this album. The next one that I have in the fountain pen category is Down Bad. I feel like down bad is not going to be like the cutesy like, oh, like I'm down bad for him, you know. Um, I feel like it's going to be a song about when she was maybe realizing something wasn't right for her or maybe she was realizing, oh my god, I'm losing myself. And as Taylor said, you can feel everything in screaming detail. So with this song, I really feel like Taylor could see everything and feel everything in real time. She probably maybe wrote it in real time to feel better. So I feel like this is going to be a song where you feel. You feel for all the Taylor songs, but you know what I mean. Next up on my list for a fountain pen song is So Long London. Yeah, I just feel like this song is going to be one about like memories. I feel like this is going to be a song about reminiscing on memories and feeling like, okay, maybe it is time that I pack up and leave. Maybe I shouldn't be in this country anymore. Maybe I should leave, you know, this relationship. Maybe I should leave um, where I packed up and moved to. 
for so many years however it's time i feel like it's going to be very raw and emotional and i feel like it's going to definitely signal hey these are the feelings that i felt when it was time to say goodbye to a city that i fell in love with but daddy i love him is the next fountain pen song that i have on my list i feel like this one is going to be and i'm probably going to be dead wrong this one's probably going to be like a glitter gel pen song this one's probably going to be the bop of the album but something just tells me this one is going to be like an inward battle with those that she like loves maybe not her dad maybe actually is her dad um or it could be play on the little mermaid when she loses her voice to be with prince eric maybe it could be something like that but i personally think for this song it's going to be like again feeling all those things and hearing people say okay well he, taylor he's doing this to you um but you, taylor's like but i see the good in him like i'm continuing to fight i love him like we've built this we've been through things together you know and I'm the one in this relationship. I feel like it's going to be a very in-depth, like in tune with herself song, but maybe at the end of the song she realizes, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> someone has a point. Okay. I feel like Florida. Okay, this one could also sway, I feel like, in the glitter gel pen category. However, I feel like personally, Florida is not going to be what everybody thinks. I feel like a lot of people think it's gonna be like, Oh, like upbeat and like maybe you know Florida made me happy in a really sad time because if you don't know Tampa was the very first place that she played after it was announced that her relationship had ended so I feel like it could either be like the happiest glitter gel pen song like kind of like oh like you know leaving my cares away and I get to perform for all these people but I feel like in in my heart something is telling me that Florida is going to be the song where it's like oh um i was i was putting on this brave face i love seeing you guys you guys made me so happy but i feel like it's going to be like a more raw version as opposed to like celebratory like not like oh like i don't care like you know i'm out on stage doing my thing i feel like it's gonna be like you guys literally made me happy when i was going through all of this and here's what i was going through and I feel like it's just going to be very, like, symbolic. And I feel like it's going to be... I feel like that's going to be one of the most visual songs on the album. Which brings me to... I can do it with a broken heart. I think this one, too, is going to be one <laughs> that is, like... Here's how I was feeling. I was going through a lot of things personally. But I went out on that stage. And you guys absolutely changed my life like you guys were the ones that pulled me through this i feel like honestly that is what the song is going to be emma and i have discussed this and uh i just feel like this one is going to be like the song that's like about us that's like i can do it with a broken heart because i have you guys i feel like this one's going to be very much like you can see it you can maybe she's talking about like how you know, in her quiet moments, she she doesn't know what to do, but then she walks out on stage and she feels herself again. Something like that. I think it's going to be very vulnerable, very real. I can fix him. No, I really can. Again, I feel like this one is going to be definitely like where you can hear and feel everything in a song. And that, <laughs> like, oh, I can fix him. Like, don't worry like yes i know he did this to me like i know i've been like rambling about it maybe she was talking to like one of her friends or something but she's like but i can fix him and no 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 like i really can like i know it continues to happen but like it's gonna get better like it's gonna get better and i feel like it's gonna be if i had to like think about this song in a sense of like what we already have in the taylor swift world i feel like the all too well short film really would relate to the song in my head as of now we haven't heard it but in my head, I just see this song as like, you know, okay, like, we're fi we're fighting, we're fighting, and then like, you know, he pulls me in and it's better. You know, like that scene in the All Too Well short film where they're standing in the kitchen, she's like, you know, you're making a fool out of me in front of your friends, like you're acting like I'm not even there, and then he pulls her in and they continue with their relationship for a bit. 
and I feel like that is what that song is speaking to me at the current moment. The smallest man who ever lived. Oh boy, I feel like we're in for such a ride for this song. This one I feel like for sure is going to be just like screaming details. Screaming details. Um, your ego was so big but you made me feel so small. But in the end, when I'm looking back on it, you made me feel horrible, but really when you look in the mirror, you're the smallest person who ever lived. It's not me, you're the problem. Look in the mirror, flip the mirror around, and look in it, and that's the problem. That's the smallest man who ever lived. I feel like it's going to be very straightforward, and no candy coating when it comes to emotions. And then the last, oh, nope, there's two more songs. I have the manuscript on here as well for a fountain pen song, and I feel like I put this in the fountain pen category because these are things left on said. So I feel like the manuscript is going to be like the song that it's the main bonus track. Like we have like the albatross, the black dog, the bolter, but the manuscript is going to be, I think the one that's in like the target edition and like, you know, it's going to be like the main bonus track, if that makes sense. So I feel like her concluding, concluding the album with this, after Clarabo is going to be very symbolic. It's gonna be like, <laughs> it just ties everything together. I feel like it's gonna be like one of those songs where it's like, okay, hold on. You thought I was done speaking. And the very last fountain pen song that I have on this list is The Black Dog. I feel like The Black Dog is going to be one of the ballads on the album. I feel like this one is going to be one of the saddest. And I say that from the standpoint of when I look at the black dog, it's it means it's symbolic of um, sad feelings and um, feeling just down. And it also can resemble a hellish animal. So I'm wondering if, well, Taylor is very symbolic and she definitely does her research. Like it's kind of insane, like what this woman ties like to all her little pieces of art, like. There's obviously symbolism within the meaning of the black dog for her. So I definitely feel like this one's going to be very like straightforward, cut, hey, this is how I feel. This is where I was at this point. We are moving on to the Quill pen songs. Now again, these are songs with lyrics that make you feel old fashioned, like you're a 19th century poet crafting your next sonnet by candlelight. So, the first one that I have on here is Guilty as Sin, question mark. I feel like this one is just kind of going to be a, like a revenge song, but in the sense of like, guilty as sin, like why am I staying here? Like, maybe you're, you're, you're picking fights, you're doing all these things, and I'm seeing the flags that like, I'm supposed to leave, but I'm still here with you. So am I as guilty as you are in this relationship by staying here? I feel like it's just going to be like one of those songs and I can definitely see in my head, I'm a very visual person, I can kind of see in my head like Taylor just kind of like sitting, it's dark, and she's just writing. I feel like this one could be like when she said like you're, you're crafting your next, your next sonnet, I can definitely see her like plotting and crafting with this song. Clarabo. When I thought about making this video, the first thing that I thought about was Clarabo, and I think I have never been more sure of where I'm putting it. Now, this one could also be a fountain pen song, but I really think that Clarabo is going to be a quill pen song. Like, Taylor obviously relates to Clarabo in some deep way. She wrote a song called Clarabo, and um, even to the point where like Clara Bow's family like knows that this is incoming. I definitely feel like this is going to be like one of those songs like Taylor was just like writing. She was just writing her little heart out, pouring out her feelings. Um, and I feel like for this, I just, I just see in my head like old timey like Taylor keeps making ties back to Clara Bow and I don't know, I really, really think that this one is going to be a quill pen song in the sense of like, just like the vibe. The next one that I have on the quill pen set is The Alchemy. 
Now, that title to me just says quill pen. Maybe that's me being a little goofy, but an alchemy, the alchemy means you're turning something into gold. That means that you're turning something that is not gold into gold and you're trying to refurbish it and turn it into something more beautiful. So I think this is her maybe trying to plot how can I make something more beautiful? How can maybe I become more beautiful and make my life more beautiful and gold again after all of this? After all is said and done, how can I plot and scheme and craft my life into something that is gold again? Wow, I feel like crying hearing that. And if that is the, uh, <laughs> if that is the uh, real meaning of that song, well, Rachel's gonna cry. Rachel's gonna cry regardless, don't you worry. And then the last one that I have on the quill pen song category is the albatross. I feel like this one is going to be like very, um, I was held back, maybe how do I get out? So here I go again. Every time I make a prediction video and I bring up the albatross, I have to say, hi, um, here you go. I'm gonna teach you something about the albatross. The albatross is a bird that for the first six years of their life, they never land. They only fly over the ocean. So maybe the song is like, okay, I'm ready to put my feet down. I'm ready to settle and it's not with you. <laughs> like, like point blank period. Like maybe it's just not with you anymore and how maybe it's her like working through, okay, how do I, how do I do this? Like, how am I supposed to do this without you? I always saw my life and my future with you. How am I supposed to do this without you? And I feel like this might be kind of like the vibe of the albatross. Um, you know, you're, you're feeling held back. You're feeling like you can't get out of something. And I feel like maybe Taylor was like, okay, time to sit down and plot how the hell I can get out of this. And then the last category is the glitter gel pen category. Again, these are songs with lyrics that make you want to sing and dance and toss glitter around the room and remind yourself not to take yourself too seriously, which is something we all need these days. So I said Fortnite. I put Fortnite in this category because first of all, it's with Post Malone and Fortnite's a two week period. And maybe, maybe, the, maybe there's a reason. There is a reason. Taylor always opens the album with an absolute bop, like IE Lavender Haze, like IE State of Grace, like any opening of any Taylor Swift album is like, bang here's the album here we go buckle up here we go Fortnite is a two week period of time and maybe maybe she opens it with hey like i was sitting and i was contemplating for two weeks on what what to do with the situation but then i found myself and here we freaking go like i feel like this one's gonna be like oh like you know here here we go here we freaking go this is going to be the one that's like all right i was sitting I was thinking, and look at I've made my mind. I'm out of the Fortnite. I'm out of this Fortnite, and I'm, you're hitting the, I'm hitting the road, okay? Uh, so long London, if you will. The next one that I put on the Glitter Gel Pen playlist is, or the uh, list, My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys. Now watch, this one is going to end up being like the slowest ballad and which I love and adore of the album <laughs> with my luck. However, something in my heart's just telling me that this one is going to be like, this one's track three. This one is going to be like, okay, he only breaks his favorite toys. He's going to manipulate me. I'm the toy here. I am Buzz Lightyear, if you will. Um, I am being played my friends. Um, and let me tell you, like, I feel like this one could be, like, either, like, a very, like, blank space, like, satire kind of thing. Or it could be, like, my boy only breaks his favorite toys, but, like, let me one-up you. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But I feel like this one is going to be glitter gel pen. Like, I don't care anymore. Checkmate, I couldn't lose kind of deal. I don't know. We'll find out together. Um, Fresh out the slammer. I feel like this one and Clara Bow 
are like this for me. I am like so sure that these are going to be like my stand songs. Um, Fresh Out the Slammer just tells me <laughs> I'm free, bitch. I am absolutely free. Like, I don't have to adhere to you anymore. I absolutely do not. And here I am. I am myself again. I'm stepping out. I'm being bejeweled. I am not hiding. I'm going out to dinner with my friends. I do not want to be put in the basement anymore. And here we go. Uh, I don't care. Bye. Don't let the door hit you or the good Lord split you, as they say. Okay. And then L-O-M-L. I feel like is also going to be, this one's explicit, and I feel like this one is going to be not love of my life. I've said this from the get-go. I do not think this one is going to be love of my life. I think this one is going to be like the biggest play on words. And when I say the biggest play on words, I think, ha, Taylor doesn't give a flying, um, you know, you know, she doesn't care. She's like, Here's what I have to say. You're not the love of my life. You're actually this to me. I don't care. I'm going to speak my mind. And then I feel like the last one, the bolter, is going to be also a glitter gel pen song. I really do. I just, something about the bolter is telling me like, this one's going to be like fast paced. This one's going to be like, every time we hit try to have a conversation, you hit the road and like, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm hyper right now. I have the Taylor Swift Zoomies, but yeah, you guys, I just thought this would be a fun video to do. I know it's a little different and you guys are probably looking at the title and going, what is this girl talking about? What pen Taylor Swift wrote? Like, did she go to the store and get a Sharpie? Like, is that what you, is that really what you're making a video about? But like, I don't know. You guys know, and I do Taylor Swift content. So I'm like, you know what? They'll get it. They'll get it. But I love you guys. I can't believe we are so, so close to Tortured Poets Department and I am plotting. I am a quill pen song, if you will. I am crafting so many fun videos and I literally, Monday, Monday is April 1st and then we can say Tortured Poets comes out this month. That's insane. Yep. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.